I'm in the process of buying a hamster called Simon Cowell and letting it reside in a dog kennel. It's going to be magical. We're back at X Factor HQ with the gorgeous Chloe Jasmine and we've got your Twitter questions. So we're going to fire them at her. Are you ready? Ready, steady, go. How did it feel when you were given another chance for the seat? For the six seat challenge. It felt like it wasn't real. I honestly accepted this was my fate. I'm off the stage. I'm going to comfort everyone and make sure they're okay because I do know a lot about rejection being in the industry I'm in. Um, I was really shocked and I actually didn't want to take the seat because they all just looked so happy and so comforted and they thought that it had all been resolved and then they looked panicked. But I was very grateful. I couldn't believe I'd been granted that, the opportunity of returning. Amazing. I'll be back. <laughs> Amazing. Are you, are you still going to be singing because I love the style of the music you sing? I do. You. Thank you very much, Mystery Tweeter. Um, I don't know, I've never had a lot of confidence in my vocal abilities. I've always just opened my mouth and, and whatever comes out, comes out. Uh, especially if I have a really sore throat, like the one I have today. There might be a frog in there, but I haven't seen it. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what opportunities will present themselves in the future. I'm going to take it day at a time and see what happens. Now that you've left The X Factor, would you like to record music? Jerome from Manchester. All these musical questions. I mean, it's a hypothetical question, I'm afraid. And, you know, you could really want to do something, like you could want to grow a unicorn horn, but it might not be possible. So I think you have to take all things into consideration. What did you think of your American fans? Did you receive any presents from fans? Oh my God, they're like so awesome. I like, cause they've been watching with Access TV and we've had this really cool woman come around called Stevie and she's been like doing all the media and stuff. And it's like, whatever. Um, I'm really grateful for the American fans. It's interesting to see how they approach the show because we speak a little bit differently here. And um, you know, people really do appreciate British talent. It's such a small percentile. Have I received any presents? Well, I'll give you my address shortly and you can just, just send them all along. Do you think you're bonkers, as Simon says? I can't believe he would say I was bonkers. It's very strange. He's, he must have encountered so many people over the years. I think being exuberant and expressive could be interpreted as bonkers. But um, if I really was truly bonkers, I would be communicating from a padded cell right now. And I'm not. It's talk talk. I'm fine. Yay! And lastly, <laughs> can you tell Chloe that all America loves her? Um, Even can, Texas. And can you tell us a bit about being bullied as a young girl because of your accent? Sure. Um, I think that everyone gets bullied in their life, absolutely everyone. No one can say someone hasn't said to them, oh, oh I, you know, I don't like your shoes or I'm not quite sure about that. I mean, that could be interpreted as bullying. I think it can be very serious. Um, but one example I gave in an interview was I was on holiday in Greece. People didn't like the way I spoke and they had my possessions and they snapped my sunglasses in half. Um, I have attended private schools and when you are in that environment, much like the X Factor bubble, you don't know what it's like outside that environment, so you just consider it normal. Um, I've worked very hard at school to maintain scholarships throughout the educational process. And um, I just don't think that it's right to attack someone because they're different. I think you should appreciate them for being different and admire them. Um, because at the end of the day, we really are all different and we live and we die. So why not make that time in between as pleasurable as possible for everyone? Totally agree, oh, cool. that was wonderful, thank you so much. Awesome, I love jelly beans.